So just something to note about the RoboBlock Q-Scout is we're going through the instructions on the mobile phone app here and you'll notice that it shows the part to be used, like M4x9. I really like the way they have every part labeled, M4x9mm15. Uh, I've seen robot kits where you don't get good labeling on the parts and the baggies, so every part is properly labeled, everything's labeled really well, so that should make it easy for them to follow the instructions. I'll check in in a little bit. All right, the build's still in progress, and Oliver has the eyeballs and the first board attached to it, the ultrasonic sensor with the board on it. Nice. All right, so how do you find the instructions so far, Oliver? I find it very simple for kids to use. Like, uh, images help, like, a lot. Yeah, that, me I like it. that the mobile instructions are step-by-step. Step. Yeah. All right, keep going. We'll check in again. Thank you. Okay, we're making some more progress with the RoboBlock Q-Scout here. He's got the battery compartment in there, and look at it. He's got it as mostly assembled, and it snaps into place. He doesn't have the wheels on yet. Look at that, the way the battery compartment slaps in. Nice. I see he's got the wires connected. So, how is it setting it up so far? It is very f it's very fun right now. This is nice. And oh, and I notice when you press this down, the light comes out. Ah, nice. Yep, that's must be an on-off switch. And once you get this complete, you'll be able to completely program it with your uh, mobile phone app, too. Alright, continue on. We'll check in soon. Okay, so he's got the Q-Scout created here. And he's got it turned on and paired with Bluetooth. He's turning its eyeball lights on and off. It's got green lights for eyes. Show it making noise with the sound. There's its sound mode. And then he's got manual control on. Oh, that's for it spinning. All right. So it's kind of like... It looks like just one. Whoop. Let me turn it upside down here. Here, go ahead and do it. All right, what about the other wheel? Only one of the wheels appears to be working. Maybe we don't got the other wheel plugged in, right? All right, let's take a look. The other wheel, hold on. Do we got it plugged in right? Check the connections. Is that loose? Is those plugged in right? I don't know how to plug these in any further. I'll hold it. Wait, we still got one wheel. Uh, it's plugged into the M1. So look at the, unplug and replug in the M1. Replug those in. No, that's that should be M1. Yep, plug that in there. Make sure it's nice and tight and connected. In the right direction. All right, check the other one. All right, try it again. Other wheel. Still just one wheel, right? All right, let's diagnose. It's trying to move. Hold on. Is it? Is it stuck? Oh, it's got a little piano mode, huh? Oh, it has some songs built in. That's interesting. It's a Merry Christmas song. All right. Here, go ahead and show that both wheels are working now. Okay, um. There we go, wheel one, wheel two. Forward, back, left, right, perfect. All right. All right, don't make a draw off the table. Oh, you can blink the lights too? Nice. Do you wanna go take it for a test drive or do you wanna try doing some programming and use the black tape to create a track for it? Yeah, let's do test driving. Okay, let's go take it for some test drives. All right, let's take the Q-Scout for a little bit of a manual drive. One of his things came out. Hold on. Okay. There you go. Now they're pushed in better. Let's see how far it goes. All right. Turn it back around. Alright, 
hear it. You haven't played music? Alright. Shall we go start programming and have it follow some tape? Mm-hmm. Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. For more information, visit bit.ly slash dbdisclose. To have your product or brand showcased on Dragon Blogger, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Thank you for watching.